what are we using the option contract paperwork for? The purpose of it is as follows. We want to obtain control of the property. We want to be able to begin debt negotiations. And we want to set this thing up for a quick turn closing. We want to be able to do an A to B, B to C, and get the check. Okay? So many people think about getting the check that they lose track of everything that has to come before that. What I like to do is I like to think about it from a backwards perspective. Okay? I like to walk out of the title company with that check. And then I have to think about how did I get that check? Well, for me to get that check, I had to sell a piece of property. So for me to sell that piece of property, I had to find a buyer. But what did that buyer buy? Well, that buyer bought a piece of property that I had just bought. So that means for them to buy it that I just bought, I had to buy it. Well, for me to be able to buy it, I had to negotiate a short sale. Well, for me to be able to negotiate a short sale, I had to have the right paperwork in order to get control of the property. I had to be able to control the seller. I had to be able to negotiate the discount. I had to be able to manage the BPO. I had to be able to get that seller to call me to begin with. Okay? So I work it backwards. You following me there? And I'm going to tell you, if you screw any of those stages up, your check goes poof. All right? Now, how many, like, how many of you like checks that go poof? I have had phone calls from some very good investors whose checks were on the verge of going poof. And they're like, how do I fix it? OK? My attitude is, instead of how to Watson fix it, what does Watson teach them so that they never get there to begin with? Okay? So, let's move on.